Hi, in this video, uh, I'm just going to give you a quick introduction uh, to Google uh, Data Studio using uh, GA4. So I've logged into uh, Data Studio and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to connect some data. So I'm going to click on the create here and I'm going to click on data source. Uh, now, just to see what you can connect in here, we're not going to do all of this, but um, but you can. So you can connect, for example, your Google Ads, the different Google Analytics Universal or GA4. Uh, you can upload a file, for example, from your email um, or your property management system. Um, different, you know, options, Google surveys, and there's all sorts of connections uh, that you can do in here. So there are lots of options. The one we're going to take a look at uh, is Google Analytics. So you click on Google Analytics. Um, now, sometimes it asks you to log in, but uh, I'm already logged in in here um, and I'm using the Google Merchandise Store demo account. So I'm going to click on that uh, and, and I'm going to choose the GA4 Google Merchandise Store. Um, and then up here, uh, up top right, I'm going to click on uh, connect. I suppose I should have mentioned that actually you can also, uh, we've chosen the Google uh, data um, from the Google Merchandise Store, but you can connect in things like your Facebook data and LinkedIn, Instagram, all of those can be connected as well. We're just looking at the Google one here. And just to, uh, we'll rename this at the moment. At the moment, it's called the GA4 Google Merchandise Store. So I'm just going to call it the Merchant Data so that I know that's the one we're talking about um, uh, up here. Um, and what you can see here are the different data types. And if you scroll down, this is all the data that will be available to you um, when we come back out. Uh, so that's fine. Um, and so I'm just going to click up here onto the logo up here and it'll take me back into the um, the main view again. Um, and here you can see this is the data that we've connected in here. And we could have multiple data sources listed uh, in here. I'm going to take a look now at, at different reports that are available and there's some nice sort of templates that can be used and it's a really handy way of sort of uh, getting work done. So if you click in here uh, you can go to uh, reports and then if you want to go to the gallery to see the full selection you can click on template gallery uh, and I'm going to look at um, there is a search console one there so I'm going to take a look at uh, that one there uh, and then I'm going to open up uh, the report. And so you can see this uh, report here has a lot of nice uh, features already in it. And um, so it's got uh, the, the impressions, uh, the last 28 days and then the previous uh, 28 days. Um, and over here, you're looking at different countries, uh, impressions versus clicks. Uh, underneath that, then uh, we have URL clicks. Um, desktop, mobile, tablet, the different landing pages are over here, the impressions and clicks uh, and the different percentages. And then we've got the different queries that were used um, to, to, and the clicks uh, as well. So this is this is very useful. So I'm actually going to, to edit uh, and share this. So uh, I'm going to click on that. Um, and I'm going to say, don't show me this again and uh, add to report. So while it's useful and um, with all of this information there, I will want to do a little bit more work. And um, so we're going to click on add page. And you can see up here, you can move from one page to the other using these controls at the top. Um, and we are going to uh, add some data. Um, and over here, um, you can see uh, the different options available to you that are that come with this sample data from the, the Google Search Console. Now, obviously, you'd be using your own and not the Google Merchandise Store, uh, but I don't have uh, that data available to me. But in reality, you'd be doing that. So what we're going to do is all you have to do now is click and drag the date item over like this and let go. And it takes in uh, the information and you can see whatever you've clicked on over here, the options for it are available here. And um, so we're going to add um, some metrics. So I'm going to click on add metric uh, and I'm going to go with impressions and I'm going to go add metric uh, and I'm going to go uh, click through rate uh, and add impressions and uh, clicks. And I'm just stretching it out here. It takes a while to kind of sort through because there's a lot of data um, in the Google Merchandise Store. Um, and you can see um, this is the data that's listed here. Um, now, before we finish this, what I'd like to do is move down the bottom here. Um, and it's kind of easier if I just do it rather than explain it. But what we will really want to happen overall here is that we can look at individual search queries and discover which pages um, 
when people type in those queries, which pages are displayed by Google and vice versa for particular pages, what search queries or, or particular landing pages, what search queries uh, triggered those landing pages and seeing which, you know, so we're not looking at the site overall. We're looking at specific landing pages. So we have a table up here uh, and we're happy with it. I might just sort of reorganize it a bit and click and drag and give a bit more space here. Um, so, um, I'm going to drag it out here. Now, I'm happy with that. So I'm going to copy it. So I'm just going to do my keyboard shortcuts. I'm going to do Control and C to copy and then Control and V to paste. So I've just made a copy of that table and I dragged it down underneath. So the first one here is queries and the second one here, it's going to be very similar, but we don't want queries. So up here where it says query. So I've clicked on I've clicked away. I've clicked on the second table and you can see it says query. I'm going to get rid of that. And the dimension we're going to say is landing page. And it takes a few seconds to come up. Now, I'm going to stretch this out because the, the landing page URLs are long and we need to be able to see them. So I'm going to just drag them out like that and drag it out. So you can see, and we could spend some time making it prettier. Um, but so we have the two of these connected and you'll notice down the bottom um, that cross filtering is already available. So that's fine. I'll just show you what it is. So we'll now go to view up here. Um, so let's, for example, uh, if we look at this is, uh, and I'm just going to disappear that over for a moment. That's the two different pages. Um, so for example, if, if we look at the query Google stickers. So when somebody types into Google, Google stickers, which page from the Google merchandise show uh, store is displayed in the search engine results pages. So if we click on Google stickers at the top, whatever we select at the top will be displayed down underneath. So if we scroll down, these pages here uh, are displayed, all of these, and you can see stickers, uh, stickers, stickers. These are all pages within the Google Merchandise Store that uh, appear. Um, and you can see uh, the impressions, the number of pre impressions, uh, the click through rate uh, and the URL uh, clicks. Um, and so we can reset it uh, up the top. So that's looking at particular search queries and seeing which pages are displayed. The next thing is to look at, for example, uh, particular um, uh, pages and then see what search queries uh, trigger those pages. So if we look at this particular page here and I click on it in the bottom, what's really nice is up the top. These are the search queries um, that uh, uh, that triggered this particular page in the search engine results pages. So obviously the Google the merchandise store has so much volume of data in it and um, yours won't be like this, but you might have like maybe 20 different ones here. They've got 708. Um, but what, what it's showing you here is that for this particular um, page, these are the queries, the search terms uh, that are currently triggering it. And you could have a look and see uh, what is and isn't working. Now, while that's... OK, let's see if we can make it even a little bit nicer. So I'm just going to click on reset and I'm going to go back into edit again. So we're just going to add a control. And really, the whole point of this video is to show you that actually if you have a task and you have a marketing decision to be made or you have a marketing job, actually, if you know what you want, it's easy enough to create it in Google Data Studio. So if we click on add control and we choose drop down list, and I'm just going to click and drag or click and let go over here. And you can see it's automatically put in query. OK, it picked up the first item over here, um, but it also takes in URL clicks. And we're not really interested in that. So I'm going to just get rid of it. So all we'll have is one control field uh, in at the top. That's grand. We'll add another control drop down list uh, and we'll just line it up there uh, and it's landing page. And again, we're getting rid of URL clicks um, and we'll add control drop down list. Um, and we might go with uh, we we'll get rid of that and we put in country uh, instead and get rid of the URL clicks. So now we have little drop downs uh, we're going to click on view. And we'll just hide that over there. So in here, for example, if we take a look at particular now, these are all the queries, uh, for example, that we can see, um, for example, Chrome Dino. I've no idea what that is. So if we click on only. Over here. You can say, oh, that's a very small thing. The only page shown for that particular query is this particular page uh, up here. So I can click on reset up at the top uh, and maybe just pick something a little bit more generic. I go down to the English ones so we can read them. Uh, zipper pulley. 
I have no idea, or zipper puffers, pullers, and we click on that only. OK, and you can see this is the only page um, for that particular uh, query. And, and then I can re hit reset. And up at the top here, now we've got all of these landing pages and you can see the Google Mer Merchandise Store is um, very extensive. So we'll just pick this particular page and go only. And you can see that these are all the search terms. Um, and there are 107 search terms uh, and we can see the number of impressions and the URL clicks uh, on them. Um, and so, you know, it's just quite nice to be able to sort of look at individual pages. I will click on reset and then, for example, we could take a look at a particular country. So I might as well look for Ireland. And say Ireland only. So this is just Ireland. Uh, and we can sort it uh, by impressions by clicking on that. And it takes a few seconds to come through and you can see uh, in uh, highest to lowest order. Um, and then we can also then, for example, look at a particular landing page uh, within that. Um, and so, you know, you can build it up and it's really nice to, to, uh, to, to do it. So, I mean, other things we can do is if we can click on edit over here. So we wanted to add in a little chart down the bottom that would show us the average position uh, for particular search queries. So we're going to click on add chart and we'll choose a line chart down the bottom. And again, this is just me really showing you that it's quite easy. You know, don't be afraid of it. If you have a task uh, that you'd like um, to, to include, it, it's easy enough to do it. And um, so uh, we need to come over here now. This isn't the right data source. So we're just going to get rid of that data source over here uh, and we're going to select data source. Uh, and it's the second one. down. No, I'm sorry, it's the wrong one again. It's the first one down, uh, which is it's kind of hard to see it. I might, it's the. Um, it's the site one that we want to select. So you can see SI over there. So um, what we need to do then uh, is in here, we're going to choose date. OK, so it's going to be over time. Um, and then uh, the metric that we want to do is the average position. So there's average position. So what we're going to see then is the average position and how that changes uh, over time for particular queries. Um, so that's all we need to do then. And so we click on view. Um, and so we're back in again. We've seen this before. The only difference here is we can see over time um, the position of for that particular query. So um, up here, we might just click reset. Um, and uh, we might just type in Google March. Um, OK, um, and we might just um, Google uh, or the Google Merchandise Store might be a good one to look at. OK, so there's 210 impressions and they're the particular landing pages that are shown. Um, and then obviously it's in position one the whole way along. So, you know, it's just it's quite nice again. The idea of this video is to show you that actually it's quite easy to use. You just click and drag. And again, you know, really think about the marketing question that you're trying to answer and the task that you're currently uh, trying to achieve.